So now we have a panel going on. We had a panel yesterday and we we're all set. And uh, I wasn't quite happy with it because I think it uh, transported the wrong message. Well, it's really silly that we are moving. So this panel will be a standing panel and we can move around and be a little bit more dynamic rather than be comfortable and sitting there. Let's, let's try it. And I'll call the people who will um, be on stage for uh, the next half hour. We have two professors, Mr. Fatos Jata, Head of Language Department, University of Elbazan, is he here? Okay, I'll try uh, a little later. Maybe he's uh, coming later. Mr. Albert Jeta, professor also of the University of Amazon. Yes. Ms. Marzida Hiseni, head of labor office at Amazon. Oh, getting most of this one. Mr. Evan Serechi, businessman from Serechi Brothers. There he is. Mr. Armand Manushi, I know he's there, a parent. And Klaus Papia, a student, electrical engineer. Second call for Mr. Fatas Jata. And if he's not there, the gates will close and we'll take off anyway. So, welcome, 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 welcome. Right. Uh, this is a format where we don't really follow strict uh, rules or lines. Uh, the topic is which possibilities can each of us offer. And of course, yes, we need microphones and we have them. And uh, well, let's, let's just see how it goes because I don't think we have ready answers. Um, and let's also maybe discuss and come, come to, uh, to a conclusion. I would like to start with the lady just to explain what you do and uh, what you think uh, should be done in ed education, especially vocational education, and uh, maybe we can start from there. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, I want to say that uh, the Directorate of Office of Labor has a lot of projects which are even important for the students that has finished university on the 24th month when he comes at the first time on the, uh, at the Office of Labor. It is a project that it is uh, from the decision of the Council of Ministers. It's uh, 873 as number. And uh, it offers to the youngest students to make practice from three to five months, which is paid from the office. And this is something uh, to start up from the students that has just finished. Uh, before, uh, before finishing university, I come a little to the middle school. Uh, we have, as the Vocational Training Center, has the uh, uh, programs for Start Smarts, which are like a startup. And every one of them, I don't know if they are on university or, or in, on high school, but they can come and they can register themselves. They can uh, train themselves with this kind of programs and they can know themselves more, better. Because uh, everything comes from ourselves. If we don't know ourselves, if we don't know what we can do, we can't continue further. Uh, they, have, uh, they have to follow this kind of uh, projects because uh, after that they can decide not to follow the university. They maybe want to follow professional direction. They maybe want to be a tour guide. And this kind of uh, courses are offered from the Educational Training Center. We, are, we have lots of, of uh, training professions which can be trained from the office and are not paid from the, uh, from the students or from the uh, people that are not with work, they have no work, so they can, be, they can follow them without paying them. And this is a good thing. I don't know what so else I can say. So how many people on this students take part in that? Well, this year uh, they have, there have been more than 100 which were directed in the uh, municipality. Uh, they, they, they made the practice on the university up at Alexander Giovanni, the other ones at the economics uh, department. Uh, we have had from the social university 
so the Department of uh, Social Skills. And even to our office, we have had uh, students which, uh, who made practice from uh, October, no, sorry, from September till uh, the end of November. And they are really satisfied with that. They even take a certification about. And this is a practice known uh, all around Albania, I can say. And it's not implemented in, uh, only in Albania. It's all around Albania, they say. And this is offered from the Office of Labor. It's a, it's one a, of lots of things that we offer. Yeah. It's a wonderful program, but um, it should be many more. Yes, of course, but uh, the problem, uh, it's not a problem. The idea is, you have to come to the Office of Lover. You have uh, a student that has uh, just graduated. He has to come to the Office of Lover and register himself. And if we have all the database from all the students that are registered, they all go to make the practice for the year that they have been presented in that uh, office. I'd like to pass on to uh, Mrs. Reggie from the, from the business side. How happy are you with the uh, students or with the young people that you employ um, and that, whom you pay? Uh, do you, are they prepared for the job or do you need some time to, to uh, well, educate them, train them, it's maybe the better word, train them on the job? Uh, to, to really be productive in your business. In fact, for the administrative works, I'm really very happy because I found a student of mine who is now is the administrator of our country. So I couldn't be more happy about these things. For labor, uh, we are facing too many problems because of the immigration. And uh, my companies are basically on construction. Uh, we are faced in apartments, in residence, and because of the competition, we have decided that in our new project to offer to our clients the, uh, the idea of the smart homes it, uh, to, to, to be more effective in, in competition. Uh, it consists of uh, giving to the uh, client the possibility to control his home by remote or uh, by, by a, a smartphone or a, a laptop, everything, even when he is not in the home. So uh, there are some platforms or some programs that connect every uh, part of the house which is connected with electricity and gives you the possibility to, to control that switch them on or off even when you are not in your house. And I'm facing the problem of the specialist who, who which, or who will implement these things. Um, now, we, when, when you are working uh, in a company, of course you don't need not only skills, but also uh, other virtues like uh, reliability, punctuality, and so on. Do you, do you, how happy are you with the, that respect? With young people who start to work in your company and others maybe if you have the experience. I, I, uh, I already told you that for, for the young people who came in my company, in my company I'm really happy because they, they I treat them as, as let's say friends or as they are co-founders of the company so they, they can find it and they can I, I give them the possibility that they can work the same as I do. So, for them, it's not that they are too much in numbers to be real, but it's my job to find the exact one. Okay, let's switch to the university, maybe. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, what is the, uh, how, how close are you to uh, reality and in, in what you offer in the university? How academic is it? Uh, or do you have the, can, can you say that uh, the students that you uh, send off into the real life, as it said, um, or the professional life, of course, uh, are they prepared? Do, do they have seen a business from inside before? Are they prepared for what they are, um, the world that they spend the rest of their professional life in? Bring the greetings of our uh, Dean of our faculty. 
one day, which is last day, the present clear today, because other duties. And uh, about your question, now I, I have uh, been here even yesterday and I followed the panels and uh, all the speakers, very brilliant. You know? But I want to say something about being at the university and how university prepares students for the future. Yeah. It's not really only important to have skills to go to the market because we are people, we, don't, we are not getting only prepared for the market, but we are getting prepared even for, uh, for going and forming other people. So, from an academic point of view, the university gives you, uh, through its syllabus of curricula, or bachelor, master, and even then a PhD degree, they give you theoretical skills. Then, at the second stage, we now are trying to enhance our programs and give out even uh, practical skills to the student. For example, in our master degree, so after one has finished three years of bachelor degree, something like 180 credits, like European Credits Transfer System, then when you go to have a professional master degree or a scientific master degree, which the first one is one year, the second one is two years, we give them uh, more in-depth theoretical skills about some uh, syllabus that they will need in the next work they will do, or in the work they will do. But basically they can just start working even from their bachelor degree. So they are able to start working. And it's very important to uh, know that here in Romania, so we are following the Bologna process, it's the same in Germany, in Italy, some little, some little differences in France, but we are, uh, we, we have foreseen a practice of four weeks for our students. So in four weeks, which is inside our curricula, they go to the company, to a company or to an institution, and they have a practice. So the SWOT analysis that they have to do at the end of the practice. So they will see the strength and the weakness of the company that they're working for. We are really glad here in Amazon because, for example, we started as a faculty only with one course. We had, at the very beginning, the business administration course. Then, later, we expand. We offer, our academic offer was uh, driven by the market. Because we started uh, other courses, for example, uh, let's say we started law and economics. We started courses in uh, tourism. We saw the tourism, now sustainable tourism, it's very on top, you know? And we started a course in tourism, which is doing very well, it's performing very good. And I must say that because I teach there, I teach the, the course, I teach business law. So I can give you this, uh, I can give you some hints even you know, from the other side, from the business side, because often they come, came to us for other relations, for labor relations, and they just try to, to have some students which are, they are going to prepare for, for their work, for what they need. And I want to say that, another thing, just, this is the panorama of what we are offering at our university. But I want to say, to stress even you know, something else. Yesterday, it was told that the business asked, asked for the students to come to the business. But the business shall not only ask, the business shall be, uh, let's say, uh, uh, in collaboration with the university. The business must be proposing, like Evan Travel has done, it's not an advertisement, but they have done a really great thing, because this uh, conference here, this, uh, let's say, two days of conference, is some kind of uh, company software responsibility. Being sustainable as a business means that you are not only going to ask for prepared figure or prepare a position which university cannot give, even in five, six, or six, or eight years as you are formed as a student, because you are still a student. You haven't go to work yet. And is the business which came in a proactive way to the university and said, okay, I need this kind of worker, I need this kind of uh, position, I need a CEO. You cannot find a CEO in, within the programs of bachelor in university. A CEO is formed by other programs. 
And uh, we are we are facing a lot of let's say even uh, uh, problems because uh, the university at this moment is this ivory tower. It's the same thing, I guess, even in Germany, even in Italy, even in other countries of Europe. And on the other side, you have business. The business asks always from the university. But when I go as a professor, not as a law, as a business lawyer, because that's, I try to maintain separate all the two things. When I go to the business and say, okay, just give a scholarship on the best basis on sustainable terms. There are only a few businesses which are keen to give something like a premium of 1,000 euros for the best students who have performed the best thesis. And then you are a private business. And then you go uh, near to the university and get inside the university. There are some businesses that are doing this thing. But other are still, let's say, uh, see, still see the university as a place when you get only theoretical uh, knowledge, but yet still after one, two thousand years, let's say, university is still important. Okay. Because maybe you know how university started. Maybe this is supposed to be a panel discussion. And no, okay, okay, sorry. I'm finished. It's fascinating. Exactly. Now let's, let's hear the student and then the parent. You are on the other side of the needle. So how do you see that? Hello, everyone. I must say that this is it's a pleasure and an honor to be on this conference and on this panel too. My name is Charles Fobia. I'm an employee at a new travel group, but I'm also a student. I'm studying to be an electrical engineer in Polytechnic University of Tirana. So, why am I here today? I'm here just to ask some simple questions to the panel, and I hope that I speak in the name of everyone who's here. I wanted to ask, why shouldn't I leave this city? What do you have to offer to us? What are the opportunities and possibilities for us as you to be here? Don't get me wrong, I'm not judging or blaming on you. I just want to share this information with uh, everyone who's on this stage and also with the ones that are following us on uh, applications online. I also know what have you done. Your work is great, from the education system to the labor office, the businesses. That's that's my only question. Thank you for your attention. So, who would like who to, to start? start, or would, would you would you add to that? Uh, the okay, something about the topic. Uh, what can be done, and how can we help the youngsters nowadays? Uh, this kind of event that is organized, and we are part in. Uh, it's one of those things that should be done more openly about uh, promoting and giving advice or advising youngsters about what to do in the future. Uh, there is... Uh, I, I was uh, talking with my friends on, on, a, on a travel about the date that it is organized. It was 8 and 9. And it is the day of the youth. And uh, in those early days of 8 December, the slogan, the great slogan was to make Albania like Europe. But still today we aren't even making nothing about it. Uh, what can be done? I said this, thing, this kind of things or these organizations uh, make it possible to do it. To do it step by step little by little, uh, all the actors. I heard, I, I learned, let's say, uh, many things about all the speakers here. Uh, for example, not talking as a parent, even though my children are little, not talking as a teacher, I'm a teacher too, and I learn these skills here. Uh, talking even as a citizen, what shall be done? Uh, for the future, that this generation not uh, taking the lesson here and not going to other places. Um, as parents, or we all say it is the education. It's the educational system, but it's also the education that we parents give to children. So, 
everybody here in the in the theater knows or has heard about uh, a kind of story that a little girl asks her father to pay attention just one hour a day to her and to be with her. So it's parents' first uh, part to pay attention to their children, to help them, to find their way, uh, to encourage them and to advise them uh, for the things that they love, they love most, and for the things that inspire them, like all the uh, speakers said previously. And then it is the school system, the educational system that step by step, slowly, it's going to be better and saying and hoping will be better in the future, in the near future, that these youngsters stay here. It's just all the actors part to make this possible. Well, I have studied in Sofia. I have finished university bachelor and master degree in Sofia. I have worked in too many works, starting from logistics, PR agency, and embassies. In the end, my parents told me, "Would you come to Albania?" I said, "I didn't ask them what you will offer me if I come, because I had a very good position." But I said, "Well, I have what to offer to Albania." And I hope, and I, um, I'm very hopeful that Albania will change, and maybe Albania needs me. That's why I came here. Well, in the beginning, I had no open door, but I searched. And um, private companies, wherever I could find to work something. And step by step, people start to know me, to know what I had to, to give, and in a proper moment, I found proper people who offered me something more than I used to. So, never ask what your country will offer you, but what you will offer after graduating. I'm not going to say JFK, but I will say something for, for the students here which were very passionate these two days and they follow us and they are really, they are really good. I really like to see them following all the sessions of the two-day event. And I want to say there is some, there is something. The world nowadays is globalized. Every time you have the possibility to go to another place, just go to another place. But yet, don't remember, don't uh, uh, forget that you have to came back and you have to give your experience to gain other places to your place. Because there's nothing like home. No other place, neither Germany. I have been in the Netherlands, I have been in Italy studied, I have been abroad for 10 years, but there is no such place like home that you can implement your uh, interests, your intentions, and what you know how to do. Because we have an old saying in Albania, Guri Raton Ben Dev. And that, that's the main thing that you want. That's why, why you shouldn't leave this, this city. Because people, this city has the fortune of being in the middle of Albania. And this city was left from too many peoples, but too many peoples came back to this city. The fortune of this city is that this is a flow of city. This is a city which people go and returns. And when it returns, they give back, they bring back the experience. And for that, as the city is established 2,000 years ago, when other cities who are more famous city than Afghanistan, the whole Scandini, they are brand new. Let's go to the United States, brand new city. They're very, very, very fancy. But you should know that home is here. That's my point of view. Then, today, the world is globalized. You can work, for example, IT. You can work from here, work for a company which is in Hamburg. So, the possibilities are. And here are very good actors. 
but trying to do something good in order to build teams which can compete not only within our market, which is smaller, indeed, it's very small for these young people. They are all still. They are 15, 16 years old. They are, let's say, energy, pure energy. They are kinetic energy, not not the potential energy, not kinetic one. So, that's your question. Any, any, any. Uh, almost everyone answered my question, but I also had uh, another question. I also I also appreciate your will that you came back, but uh, I kind of have another question. Why didn't you start in Albania but went abroad because you said that you had your bachelor? Well, this is what professors said. And I also wanted to say that not anyone has your will to come back and go to Albania. What's wrong with our universities? Okay, uh, at first, this is what the professor said. You can study everywhere because this is something that you want to invest for yourself. And you can invest wherever you want. But what you have to, uh, to implement implement it here, because, because it is needed. Right now it is needed, too much. Uh, I can say that I do, I'm not a professor, uh, I'm a professor of the university, but uh, part-time, and I don't know the curricula and so on so far. Maybe something must be changed, but uh, this is something that uh, the rector and the directors must say. I can't say it about that. But, uh, you know, when I came back to Albania, the first thing that I asked to myself was, do I know all around Albania well as, as a place? I decided to climb mountains. Simon maybe is listening to me. <laughs> I decided to climb mountains to explore Albania and I loved it twice. This is one of the things that I suggest to all of them. Make sports or climbing mountains or whatever it is, the field of tourism. The second thing is, uh, while climbing, I found lots of uh, people that were very enthusiastic, very good people that I didn't know before. So this was the second thing that made me love Albania, made me love what surrounded me. And so if you explore your country, you will find the reason why to stay here. Yes, I would like to give you a short answer. Uh, this is thing that I could give to you is my example or the example of uh, Brothers Coteria. I remember very well when they started their business and I'm sure they didn't ask anyone what are you offering to, to us. Uh, the second thing I would say to you and all the new generation, they should change their philosophy. Don't stay waiting for somebody to help. And, and as Mr. Weller told in the end of his discussion, there are only two ways or two points of view. You or you succeed or you find excuses. So stop finding excuses and even leaving this country is is a way of finding excuses, I'm sure. So maybe you have the same lecture here in Al-Hassan or in a think tank video as uh, students of Harvard has. So you have quite the same possibility, despite different degrees. But you have quite the same possibilities, you should know this. You are at the age of 15 to 18, you should know this. You have the same possibilities starting. And it's up to you what you, what you are doing with your time. Instead of staying Instagram, playing, or having beautiful photos, you know, it's just up to you. But instead of that, you can go and search. There are a lot of websites. I can give you one for corporate governance if you are interested in. There are good websites that you can read online books. Nowadays, all the knowledge, even uh, professional knowledge, is given even for free. There are a lot of if you ever heard open source libraries, a lot of open source libraries. So it's not, it's, it, it is not an important thing when or where you study. Maybe it has its relevance, but it's not important at the very end. Important is what is your commitment. It's your dedication to the studying things and wanting to achieve. Just one tip. 
and I finished. Uh, when you are going to seek for a job and having a job interview, I can say to you from, uh, let's say, experience, don't say to the company, are you sustainable or not? Just get the job. And then later try to explain to your CEO that you should be sustainable, you should be, and you should have some the corporate some responsibility measures. Just be proposing, but get the job first. That's a practical point. <laughs> then later <laughs> try to uh, to focus on sustainable. I, I really appreciate your responses and thoughts, and I hope that they will be a valuable experience for each of us. A round of applause for you. May I ask you a question? Yes. Did you decide your uh, the branch on your own or someone else told you? No, on my own. <laughs> okay, you will succeed in life. Thank you. <laughs> I think with the discussion so far, well, if you have a wish, what uh, could be improved in the in all aspects of the educational system in Albania. What would your wish be? Where are shopping before Christmas? So come make a wish list. I don't, I don't have a wish, but I have like kind of a tip for everyone here. So on a scale of one to ten, we will believe eleven on these people because only by believing and collaborating with them we will boost them, their power and their will to do. Oh. Shall we make a final statement, everyone? Uh, and, uh, yep. Start your business, yes. Please. After hearing the children and the parents' discussion, I would like to, to tell you what my father told me many, many years ago. Uh, the best business and the smartest way is you have to fulfill your brain and to expand your knowledge. This is the costliest thing or the costliest business that you could do to your life. Then for the whole of the, your life you will be noticed from business or from other important persons and be sure of it that you will find the exact and you don't have, you will not have problems for, doing, uh, for the rest of your life. That's it. They turn back home and they create their home. So do the same. As I said before, uh, previously, working together, all the partners will make it better. And listening to the ideas that the youth has will make it even better for their future. Better than now, let's say. I would say that it would be very pathetic because somebody else before me said stay foolish, stay angry, but <laughs> it's Steve Jobs. But I, I have something to say to the, to the young people here today, that follow your passion, follow your, what you want to do in life, because something which is, which is done with passion, it's done good, it's done in a proper way, that's my point. I want to thank you once again for the lesson that you learned to all of us today. Well, I see a lot of uh, agreement and harmony. So I see a great future for Albania. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we, have, uh, we have a coffee break now, and uh, like the migrating birds, everybody migrates back then at uh, 3 